Hello, welcome to episode 409. We're in version 1.21 and we're going to make a random special mob. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a mob and I'm going for pig. And if it spawns naturally or if I summon it, we are going to randomly decide is it special or not. Now I've gone for a 50-50 chance. If it is special, we're going to change it slightly. And if it's not special, well, we'll just leave it the same. So let's get myself a random a random and an actual pig spawn egg and let's see what we've got so we've got 50 50. ah uh, you're normal you're normal hello oh you're definitely not low. there we go so we've got a chunky one we've given him glowing uh, i've changed his death loot table so he's not going to drop his uh his normal pork so let's kill a normal one sorry bit of pork that's what we expect let's kill old chunky boy here he drops a gold block very nice okay there's loads of attributes you can change we can make it run faster all sorts of stuff so that's what we're going to do uh we could do it to zombies you could have a chance that every zombie that spawned you know up at the 75 percent chance that they had super armor or they had super damage most of that is not worth doing to a pig You'll see as we get into it. I'll stop waffling. I, well, I'm a waffler. Look at him in the background there. Luckily, I've got a command prepared for you. There we go. Bye-bye. Okay, let's get on and build it now. Okay, well, we don't need any uh, scoreboard objectives for this. But if we want them to glow in a nice colour, we need a team. So I'm going to set up a team first. Let's do set up team. And I'm going to make a team. Let's say team add a glow. That'll do. Okay, we'll add that. Let's pop another one on the end. Chain. Always active. I don't know why I, I don't know why I pressed that so many times, but I did. And we're going to do team modify. And we're going to modify team glow. We're going to modify their color. What color do we want our special mob to grow? I just to say green. Green will do. Done. Okay, so we have a team set up. Now let's make a controller. So this is going to be our controller, which I'll need a lever, and you will be repeating. And because I've got a lever, I'll leave it on needs redstone. So I'm going to execute. Uh, let's pick a mob. Uh, let's pick as any entity whose type equals pig, whose tag equals not checked. Okay, so it hasn't been checked yet. And now we're going to have a random chance. And to do the random chance, we're going to use a predicate. So we'll do if predicate, open and close. We'll have a condition. And after the condition, we will have a chance. So let's put these in. So our condition will be Minecraft random chance. And now we need a value for the chance. So our chance value, and I'm going to go for 50%. So let's say 0.5. So we have a 50% chance. Run tag add s add special. Okay, so let's look at the command. What are we doing? So we're going to execute as any pig who doesn't have a checked tag. So this is going to affect anything even naturally spawning as well. Any pig. And then we're going to run a predicate on a 50-50 chance. This command will this command will run. So we're going to have 50% without the tag special, and we're going to have 50% with the tag special. Now, obviously, if you wanted to, you can change the chance number here. So we could go all the way down to 1% is special. Or we could go all the way up to 100% is special. We're going to keep it at 0.5 for the tutorial. Done. Okay. Now... We want to do something to the tagged pigs. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to join them onto the team. Join team glow. 
any entity, and I'm going to be good. I'm going to specify that it's a pig because that's what we're targeting. So type equals pig, tag equals special. So all special pigs will join the glow team. Okay, that sounds good. And then what we'll do is we'll do effect give to any entity whose type equals pig, whose tag equals special, and we'll give you glowing. Uh, let's let's just say infinite. Let's do forever. Um, an amplifier of probably one, probably zero would work. Let's try, let's test zero and let's hide the particles. True, done, and let's actually just end there. We'll add some more stuff in a minute, but let's round it off with tag any entity whose type equals pig, whose tag equals special. And what we'll do for you is we'll remove special. We've done everything we want to. I'm going to control middle mouse to copy that. But this time I'm going to say whose tag is not equal to checked. And we'll add checked. So that means this little piggy has been checked. And whether he's special or not, doesn't matter. We will not check him again. Okay, done. Now, if we just grab ourselves a pig egg, or we spawn a pig in any way, shape, or form, doesn't matter how you spawn it, because if it doesn't have that checked tag, we are going to be doing that 50% check on it. So let's put it down. Okay. Let's turn this on. Ah, okay, we got two. Uh, there's another one. That one's not. Oh, so that seems pretty 50%. Okay, let's get rid of those pigs. I'm terribly sorry, pigs. Kill any entity whose type equals pig. I know you're going to squeal. Oh, dear me. So we have a 50% chance that any pig that spawns is going to have a glowing green outline. Which is pretty rubbish, really, because um, that's not that great. Let's get rid of some of these junk from my uh, hotbar. And I'm going to take these last two. I'm just going to put them over here for now. I'm going to keep them. So this is where we're removing the tags. So let's get rid of those. Let's do some more stuff to these pigs. Okay, so if you are a special pig, what else can we do to them? Um, we've given them glowing. Let's make them drop something different. Let's do that the easy way as well. So let's do data merge into an entity, any entity whose type equals pig, whose tag equals special. And we'll have to limit this one. Limit equals one. And let's merge in some hand items. Yeah, I know pigs don't have hands, but this is how it works. We're going to merge in. Okay, so hand items. You have two hands. <laughs> People have two hands. Pigs don't, but there's two hands in Minecraft. So we have one, two. And we're going to leave one of them blank. Uh, so let's do the first one. We'll say ID. And let's merge in a Minecraft gold block, which we'll have to put a count on as well. Actually, I think in the newer versions, it defaults to one anyway, but let's put it in just to make extra sure. So when you're doing this yourself, if you want, you can take out this little count bit and it should default to one, I believe. We're gonna leave it in. Okay, so you've got a gold block in one of your trotters, one of your two trotters. Uh, let's stay inside, there we go, the data merge. And what we'll do is a hand drop chances. Which is going to be a list of sort of um, percentages. What is the chance he's going to drop that gold block? Well, we're going to have two values. So if we did 0f, 0f. So the first the first 0f here, I called it 0, I call it 0, interchangeable, relates to the first Minecraft gold block there. The second 0f relates to this empty one. So we don't care about the empty one. 
how often do we want him to drop the gold block? Maybe 50% of the time? For testing purposes, I want him to drop the gold block 100% of the time, so we'll put a 1 there. So now he's got a gold block in his little trotter. Let's get rid of that. And we'll control middle mouse and copy it. And we'll keep this beginning bit. Data, merge, entity. Yeah, we'll have all of that. And then we'll get rid of what we're merging. And we're going to merge something new. So at the moment, our pig is glowing green. When we kill him, if we use the kill command, he won't drop that hand item. If we kill him with the sword, he will drop the gold block. Let's stop him from dropping his pork, just in case you want to. So let's merge in an empty death loot table. So this will override his normal death loot table, which will give him a chance of dropping one to three pork, I think. But now we set it to empty, so he's not going to drop that pork anymore. Okay, what else can we do to him? Just to do something a bit more interesting. Um, we, well, we, let's, let's do some attributes. Attribute. Let's spell attribute correctly, otherwise it's not going to work. Attribute, any entity. Type equals pig. Tag equals special, um, which I believe we'll have to limit to one. Limit equals one. And then we get to pick, and we got loads. I mean, we could give him super armor. They don't attack anyway, so attack speed and stuff like that seems kind of pointless. But we could make him really hard to kill with armor or armor toughness. Um, we could make him, we could increase his flying speed. I don't think pigs fly, so that's use, useless. I'm going to pick something that's really obvious. Um, we could, we could up, up his movement speed, make him run really fast. That could be good. But I'm going to go straight for scale, because this is really clear. And I'm going to double his size. Oops. I'm going to set the base to two. So now we're going to have a giant pig who only drops gold blocks and is glowing green. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, now let's clear away some of these spare command blocks I've got here. And we'll take our little cleanup. So remove special and add checked. Let's take both of those. You and you. So let's control middle mouse. And we'll pop you on the end. I'm not sure if it matters which order we do this in. I don't think it really matters. Right, let's go for that. Let's clear the inventory. Get ourselves an egg, and we'll take it from uh, creative, so we know it is just, I can't spell pig. So we know it's just a normal egg, because we're taking it straight from there. Okay, you're not a special one. No, 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 you're not a special, go away. Ooh, you certainly are, look at you. Okay, let's get myself a sword. Now, if I kill you, I'll expect a little bit of pork. Yes. And if I kill you, I expect no pork, but I want the gold block, please. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's good. So, instead of changing its size, as you saw, we had loads of things. We could. Let's, what happens if we up its armor toughness? Let's, let's up its armor. Armor, base set. Two, let's go crazy. 200. Done. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. You... <laughs> oh, he took a while to kill. There you go. So you can play with it, around with the attributes as well. We got a gold block off him. Thank you very much. There we go. So what we're doing here is we're basically, we're affecting every mob that spawns of type pig, whether it's natural spawning or spawned by us. And we're going to pick 50% of them to add special things to. Okay, I almost found myself waffling it. I'm just going to walk backwards and, and oh, yum, yum, yum. I was just about to say, I almost found myself waffling again and then I started waffling. Okay, I'm going to let you go. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.